Hey, what's up guys? DJ Lefebvre here with an OBS Quick Hits. That's right, today we're gonna teach you very quickly how to make this animation happen and have it go hands-free, hands-free inside of OBS. It's super simple to do, take less than five minutes, um, and then it'll kind of give you the building blocks to make some even more complex and awesome animations all within OBS. So it's really lightweight, really, really extremely lightweight. Uh, of course, to make this thing happen, the first thing you do need is the OBS Move Transition Filter. So you can go to OBS, uh, the link will be in the description. Download this, they've got this guy for uh, Mac and for Linux and for Windows. I'm gonna teach you on Windows, but you guys do you. All right, here we go, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so uh, real quickly, this is this is what it looks like, and all I have right here is you're gonna see right down here, I've got two sources. I've got a color source, and I've got a text source. And to make all this magic happen, this is the filter, the move source filter, that we are gonna go and put it on the scene. So in the example, I'm gonna show you the full example first. This is four filters, that's it. Two for the text and two for the color. And then you'll see how the eyeball is moving. That's because we are telling it after the first movement is done, go to the next one. And when you're done with the next one, go back to the first one. Super, super simple and you get this levitating effect. Dua Lipa would be proud, super proud. All right, so let's hop on in how to do this. I'm gonna go to a completely brand, brand new uh, scene. And then in this scene on the bottom of the sources, you just click plus and we're gonna add, we're gonna start with the text, text one. And this text source, I'm going to call uh, text and we'll call it levitating, la, levitating uh, two, because I've already got the example one right there. And we'll say, okay. We are going to say levitate and we'll say, okay. And now, as you can see, we have a source right here. I'm gonna put this kind of right in the middle of the screen. You can click control D and it'll put you right directly in the center. Uh, the other thing that I do recommend that you do with anything that you're doing with move source is when you got the source right here, right click on it, click on transform, edit transform, and you're gonna wanna make sure that the positional alignment is center. It's gonna move it up that way, but you can bring it right back. And I do no bounds for this because uh, you can do a whole bunch of other cool stuff. You'll notice it kind of went off kilter. And again, just a control D brings it right on back in. This is gonna be our starting position. So we're gonna leave our source in the starting position right here. I'm going to right click on the scene. I'm going to click on filters. And then this box pops up uh, because I, I duplicated this. Uh, let's, let's just get rid of these real quick. Delete, 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 delete. Perfect. Okay, now go down here to this plus button gonna zoom in so we all can see even the old eyes out there click plus we're going to click on move source so the name of this I like leaving the the name of the filter right there if you're gonna ever go through more complex items in the future having this already set you up for your your alphabetized um, organization and we're gonna say that this is text position one and we will say okay so there's our our filter that we just added and then we have the source it's the only source in this scene right now so it's already selected for this specific movement I'm gonna make it 2500 milliseconds that's 2.5 seconds for those who don't speak milli and then all we have to do is click get transform when we click get transform what that's doing is it is reading where it currently is on the screen and it's getting those coordinates and leaving it right here and that's all we're gonna do for this first first step now, before we do anything else, we're gonna right click on this and we're gonna say duplicate. And we're going to call this text position two. And we'll say, okay. Because we duplicated this, this uh, filter, it already has the source right here. So that's all good. But it's not in the new position yet. So I'm just gonna click on it and I'm going to just move it on up. Move it on up, move it on up. Yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Perfect time for me to say, if you guys want more OBS quick hits, tips, and stuff, then just uh, click that subscribe button and the like. Let me know that you guys like this type sort of thing. Okay, so now that we've moved it on up to that, that place right there, we're gonna go back into, make sure that we're in the second position, scroll on down and click get transform. Great, so while we're on this, the, we'll start in, in chronological order. For, for number one, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom here, and then you'll see next move on. Don't touch any of these, you don't have to. They're all they're already set the way you need them to be set. Click the down button and we're gonna say next move, let's go to text position two. And then we'll go to text position two. 
We're going to scroll on down and we're going to say, okay, next move, go back to one. All right. So I'm going to zoom out and to show the way that this magic works, we're going to click the little eyeball on the first filter, position one. And here we go. It's going to go down 2.5 seconds and it's going to go up, down and up. All right. Perfect. So, um, so that doesn't bother our eyes too much while we're doing this next part of this lesson. Let's let it get back down to position one. And we're going to uncheck the eyeball and it stops. Cool. So we did the first one and this works for any source. If you want to do a webcam, if you want to do a, a image, a media file, whatever you want, this works for it. it I'm just showing you in the simplest, the simplest of forms. We're going to click the plus button down here and we're going to say color source. And on this color source, bam, space, levitate two. I've already done the first one up there. Okay, and we're gonna select the color and let's go with everyone's favorite green. Okay, okay, zoom on out. I'm gonna crop this guy down a little bit by going to this square in the top right, holding the Alt button and cropping it. And we'll do right like that. So I want the starting position to be right here. And because I want it to be completely centered on screen, if you go up to the top, top, top left, you go to edit, transform, center horizontally. Now you are perfectly in the middle of the screen. All right, so we could go and just uh, duplicate these, but we're gonna start from scratch again. We're gonna click the plus button in the scene filter. We are still in the scene filter. Now I click move source and then the move source, we're gonna say levitating position one, okay. And this is the one part where now you have to actually pick the source. So we have uh, levitating two, we're gonna pick color source levitate two. And we're gonna make this one go again, 2,500. You can do whatever, whatever fits your fancy and we click on get transform. And then it's simple again, we're gonna right click duplicate and we're gonna say position two. And we've gotta get it into that position. So let's just click on this and we're gonna hold the down button, hold the down button, hold the down button, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I feel like a fitness instructor, right? Hold it, hold it, almost done. Woo, a little too far, a little too far, <laughs> right there. Cool, so now we're gonna say get transform. Per oh, see when it does that, that is one of the glitches in the move transform. If it pops back up, you gotta go down and hit, I always do a double double tap, just like they say in, uh, in Zombie Land, double tap. It's one of the rules. All right, the last, uh, last step we gotta do is add those movements in the position. So if we're on position one, say with me class, we go to position two. Perfect, all right, levitating position two. And then if the second one is now gonna go where? Gonna go where? That's right, we are going back to position one. All right, I'm gonna zoom out and let's move this back to one. And then right when it gets to one, I'm gonna hit this one off. And now they both should be moving at around the same time. Ah, eh, a little, little off, a little off. But there you have it. That is how you do um, two different levitation moves, L little small, quick animation. You can go left to right, you can go larger, smaller, whatever you wanna do, that's how you do it. I am here, I am DJ LaFave, and that, my friends, is an OBS quick hit. So I hope you guys learned something. Leave a note in the comment. If there's anything that you want to learn, how to do better, or something just outside the box, holler at me. Join the Reddit community, Reddit r slash dj lafave post your question there throw it in the comments like subscribe i do live streams on here all the time and uh just always looking to elevate uh my stream which then in turn helps elevate your stream i'll check you guys out monday nights 8 p.m eastern standard time right here dj lafave out